So I've been using Realme UI 6, uh, the test version of Realme UI 6 on my Realme GT2 for the past one week. Let me share my user experience so that you can get an idea on what it feels like when it comes to your phone. First things first, the uh, major improvement is the big UI overhaul uh, which comes with the Realme UI 6. All the animations are very smooth and creamy and the UI has a very thoroughly modern look to it. And they have thoroughly modernized the user experience which I really appreciate. And one big concern that everybody will have is that uh, you know due to all these creamy smooth animations and all these improvements, the battery life would be affected. But I'm happy to say that at least in this test version, battery life is not affected at all. I would say it is on par, at least on par or an ever so slight improvement over the past uh, one. So on my typical usage, you know, some, uh, many times I leave 5G on with hotspot and so I'm not a light user by any means. And on my usage, I feel like I can expect around, uh, you know, 3 hours of screen on time with about 30 percentage left in the tank. So overall, you know, around 4 hours of screen on time, 4 to 4.5 max is what I can expect from this from the on light usage, obviously. And they have also managed to keep the temperatures in check, even though I've been using, you know, I've been on 5G all the time, sometimes with hotspot, uh, you know, browsing my socials, watching YouTube videos, watching, you know, streaming other content. The phone has always kept temperatures under control. So all the three key pillars which are battery life, user experience and thermal are in check with this update. The new recent screen looks much more intuitive with apps uh, stacked closer together. There are soft bounce animations added uh, throughout the UI. You have a new real choice font which is uh, not the prettiest but I chose to stick with it. I also appreciate that they have chosen to keep the animation speed option in setting so the user can choose between a faster or a smoother but creamier animation. So these are the things that are good about the ROM. I really appreciate Realme UI for modernizing the user experience of this phone. As you all know, many good phones with uh, perfectly capable hardware get le gets left behind. Uh, you know, they might get the latest Android 15 update but their UI will remain the same. And in this case, Realme has modernized the UI as well for this phone. And 100% uh, appreciate that. So let me talk you through some things which were not so good about this, uh, you know, this version. In battery options, there is a battery mode uh, which led me to believe that there is a performance mode, a balance mode and a battery saver mode. But all there was was balance and some power saver modes. So it is kind of misleading so they should have just called it battery saver modes. It is 2025 now and we are all living in the era of uh, wireless devices. And Realme has still chose to display the Bluetooth icon on the status bar. So irrespective of if you have a device connected or not, it chooses to display the icon which is totally unnecessary in this day and age. And uh, same with the v uh, voice over LTE icon. Now we all know that we have VOLTE everywhere basically so you can just choose not to show that. But okay, uh, even if they show that, uh, they do have the option of disabling it, both the Bluetooth and the VOLTE icon. But the problem with disabling Bluetooth icon is that even when you connect a device, it does not show the icon. So you can either choose to display the icon permanently or choose nothing at all. Talking of unnecessary things showing up, they have also chosen to give you a notification every single time you leave hotspot on for a particular amount of time. I'm not sure of how long, but it really sends you a, you know, a beeping notification to let you know that your hotspot is on and it might drain your phone's battery. It's okay if it shows once or twice or thrice, but it literally shows every single time, which is not an, uh, I'm not a fan of that and they don't really give you an option to disable it either. So if you are somebody who uses hotspot a lot, you really have to put up with this reminder. And talking about bad decisions with notifications, this one does support charge limit to 80%. But the problem I see with this is that uh, at 80% uh, the phone displays a pop-up notification where it gives you an option to charge to 100% which I really like. When I'm going out, I would need the charge uh, to be full. But the problem here is that that notification only comes up at 80% of charge. So if I, if I want to go out and if I'm going to get ready, so I would like the pop-up to come uh, in the beginning itself when I plug the phone in so that I can uh, tell it to charge to full and get my things done. But over here, I'm having to wait till it gets it to 80% and, and in the rare occasion that I forget to click uh, charge to full, I'm left with a phone that only has 80%. That's fine for a phone which has good battery life, for, but for this phone, uh, it doesn't really work. When you are watching videos in uh, landscape mode, uh, I think the silent notifications which will not show an icon, uh, which does show an icon by the way, and you have to turn it off manually. Otherwise, even the silent notifications show icon on the status bar. I guess because of the silent notifications, the battery bar remains visible even in landscape mode when you are watching some full screen videos. The only minor bug I encountered is that uh, when the phone reaches a certain battery percentage, it turns battery saver on. At that time, it tries to show you a notification to, you know, turn your hotspot off to enhance battery life, but uh, the pop-up disappears too soon, so you don't really have the time to read it. Now let me talk you through the issues that I encountered with this version. Uh, the only real issue that I encountered is, uh, I guess, due to unlocked bootloader or being the test version. Specifically, uh, Beam, uh, BHIM and uh, ChatGPT refuse to work. Beam just crashes out and displays an FAQ page. ChatGPT shows play integrity verification fail. I have not rooted the ROM uh, at all, I have not touched it. I am not sure whether it's because I am using a test version or uh, you know because of the unlocked bootloader. But these applications does not show anything but when it comes to Indian Bank, when you try to access the UPA section, it shows that the developer options is enabled. 
let prompts you to disable it even though it is not enabled. So controlling my experience, I would say that uh, for a test version, this is surprisingly stable. Most are weird decisions by Realme UI, by the Realme UI team. I hope they fix it in the upcoming Realme UI versions. I am not sure whether these fixes will see the light of day in this form, but, but I really hope the team at Realme UI notices these small oversights. So that has been it for my user experience of the test version of Realme UI 6 for the Realme GT2. If you have also tried it out, let me know how it went for you guys in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one.